the house this morning and it's the lovely Madonna. How so, are you this morning, Paul J? I'm well. I'm, I'm well to be well on Friday because it's the Bay of Emmett. Hold that. Yay! Now, <laughs> we should probably cover a few things maybe over Christmas, New Year, all yeah. those festivities. Yeah. What do you reckon we should start? I think uh, it's just an idea to keep an eye on your health over Christmas. It's really easy for people to get things out of control. Oh. So just some sort of tips to keep your liver and kidneys and, you know, your major organs functioning as well as, you know the digestive tract and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So basically the big things that tend to happen over Christmas, we know what they are. It's too much sugar, it's too much alcohol, it's too much of the fun stuff. And it doesn't take too much to throw the body into an inflammatory cascade and cause all sorts of mm. health. I know, it sounds awful, doesn't it? That doesn't sound good at all. But uh, the average person can easily put on two, three kilos over the ne this next couple of weeks. It's really easy to do. And if people are having like, you know, like so many people I know, Know, have already been to two or three Christmas parties right. and there's still lots more to go and you know Christmas parties are one of those things when everything's included and off you go and you're having a good time yeah yeah it's, I know exactly what you're saying it's way too easy to have way too much fun uh, yeah but you can have a little bit of fun but yeah you I, can. I, I know what you're saying because I mean yeah. you, you see the next door neighbor hey hey Fred come <laughs> over and have a beer with me all yeah. of a sudden you've got the peanuts out yes. and you've got the rum balls out and blah 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 and of course what do we not do during Christmas we don't keep up our usual healthy things we do so a lot of time the time the exercise disappears if people go to yoga that disappears if people are drinking their two liters of water a day that disappears yeah. when they're with family and friends so it's really easy to forget the good things that you normally do and so, kick into the stuff that isn't so good for us. Yeah, so, so where are we going with this? Are, are you saying that you may well get that habit over Christmas and uh, New Year and that might continue Absolutely. The year? It really can wow. do that. So uh, there's been some studies that show, and I've said this before, but it's important to remember, one big fatty, sugary, carby meal... Mm -hmm can stimulate, for a start, it can stimulate up to 80 dodgy genes if we don't do something to reverse the inflammation. Right. So that's something that, that which is, um, there's been about, uh, there's been quite a few studies that sort of indicate this at this stage. So, so basically we might have our health stuff under control. Yeah. And then yep. Christmas, and of course, don't forget, it's not just Christmas, it's the stress that goes along with Christmas. It's meeting up with family members that we might go, oh no, not aunt, auntie. You know, Valma's going to be there and, you know, she always gives yeah. me a hard time. It's it's all of the stress associated with it. It's the travel. It's the being out of your routine. It's not sleeping in your own bed. It's not having your own pillows. Mm. All of that stuff can then impact on your lack of sleep as well. well so, so, yeah. so it's sort of like for a start, I think, keeping your water up. That's such an easy thing to do, but most of us forget it. I let mine out. You need, every time you have a beer, you need to have a glass of water. Right, gotcha. <laughs> so, so, and same with tea and coffee, you know, catching up with the rels and having, you know, 27 cups of tea a day. That'll be my mum, except they'll all be coffee. Oh, you know, yes. but mum actually tries to make an effort of making sure her glass of water is next to a coffee. So every time she finishes a coffee, which she does lots, then, you know, she makes sure she's got a glass of water next to her as well. Now, what about Christmas dinner? Because uh, I know at my place, well, every year since I was young, yes. that you have such a gigantic lunch, if, if you're having the big celebration of yeah. lunch, and uh, come that night and you know, someone says, you want something to eat? And you go, oh, no, I'll just have a piece of ham. I'll just have a piece yeah. Of but it doesn't stop with a piece of ham, does it? No, it <laughs> you know, it quite often. On. You want to yeah. deal with that? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And all of a sudden we've had the second and third meal for the day. And yeah. I so it's and each time we filter capacity, we're not filling just the normal amount that we would normally eat. We are filling ourselves so much. Mm. Because because there's such a bounty there, let's oh. face it, you don't want to be rude either. No, you, know, you don't want to be rude and you don't want to miss out. And my sister-in-laws, they both know me well, so any leftovers, they sort of know that I'm a muncher, so they put right. the leftovers in front of me. And it's fine if it's carrot and snow peas and, you know, capsicum sticks and stuff like that, which I always make sure there's heaps of healthy stuff because I know I'm a muncher. Right, well... So this... therefore I, I try to make sure that there's a big platter of that sort of thing because yeah. at least if I'm eating that, you know... I'm getting lots of fibre and lots of nutrients and that sort of thing. So I think uh, people have got to keep their, their water up. That's really important. Yeah, and it's hot, yeah, that you is know. Yes. So uh, yes. it's like crazy weather not to be thinking about your water, even in air conditioning. People don't realise that even in air conditioning, they're getting dehydrated. Oh. 
So you might think you're not out in the sun, so therefore you're fine. I feel comfortable. Yeah, it's very comfortable. <laughs> but, I'll, yeah, so, so that's something. Keep an eye on water because often hunger and thirst feel exactly the same to the body. Mm, right. So, if, yeah, so therefore if, uh, yeah, so as soon as... I, and I'm not necessarily talking on Christmas Day in those days when we know we're going to be eating. I'm sort of trying to think about getting back into normal life again afterwards. Yep. So if you end, and of course there's always the leftovers as well, but that's a whole other story. So it's sort of like thinking about um, making sure if you're thinking you're hungry and you think, well, am I hungry? I've just eaten. Hmm. And it can be because you're eating the wrong things. You're eating leftover you know, leftovers at a high cut. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, it's funny because it's not the hams and things that are going to be the problem in general because they're protein, so protein. So remember how protein and fat release a hormone from the pancreas called glucagon. Glucagon is fat burning. Carbohydrates yeah. are fat storing. So basically we've got insulin and glucagon, and these are two things that tend to get really out of balance over Christmas yeah. because we often don't have enough protein. We have way too many carbs. And, of course, then the whole dessert thing, you that know. It's, falls apart. What are the desserts in your household? Well, the, anything and everything. Yeah, pavlova it, and Christmas oh, cakes and I Christmas know. puddings and tiramisu's and, yeah. yeah. Well, listen, I've got a tip for the Christmas ham. Oh, yes. And uh, a mate of mine, actually, uh, up on the Sunshine Coast, Bill. Morning, Bill. Hey, now, Bill. What, what he did a couple of years back, and he said, you've got a big ham there. I said, yeah, it just won't end. And he said, well, when you get the ham, why don't you cut it in half and put some sections of it in the freezer? Oh, very good. Right? Because then at the end of Christmas, you're going, oh, another ham sandwich. Oh, crikey. But you can actually uh, just use enough, have enough for Christmas, and then just freeze it. So freeze the cooked ham. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it's ready to go when you're ready in March or yeah. Easter or... Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is. It, it's tip. so easy, isn't it? You know, all those leftovers. And I think another thing is, think about, like, um, you know, if you've got, say, a big rice dish or something, rice doesn't cost us that much to make. If it no. doesn't actually cost you a lot, think about throwing out the leftovers. Yeah, you can. Do you know, that, because yeah. especially the carby things, the carby and sugary things, mm. uh, because it's it's just not, it honestly is not worth your health. No. Because, uh, you know, it's the sugar and the carbs that are the big killers. They're the things that cause the inflammation. It causes heart disease and cancer and diabetes and all that sort of thing. So yeah. keeping that under control, but making sure you balance it out with, like I said, lots of fibrous Water. thing. Yeah. Water and veggies, you know, yeah. and keep them yummy. You know, by all means, have some lovely sauces and dips oh. and things going along with them. Yeah, it doesn't have to veggies. be... Yeah, exactly. I love, I love roast veggies. Yeah, yeah. I just love them. They are a special part, even though it's... Do you do the turnips day. and parsnips as well? Oh, no, I don't know if I got that. Part. My brother-in-law is from uh, England, so he's big into the whole roast veggie thing at oh, Christmas time. I tell you what I do do. Now, if, do I, do. Have a, if <laughs> I have a beer over Christmas, if... Uh-huh. Well, I think I probably will. But <laughs> what I like are raw onions. Peel the onion and you just take a bite of the onion. Right. It's lovely with a beer chaser, and it's very, very nice. Are you I serious? I am absolutely serious. I love it. I can eat that onion just like that, raw. Huh. Not many people can do that. Well, uh, that's many bizarre. Many others, but yeah, that's my little thing. I love it. I don't know what to think about uh, that one, but onions, onions, pretty good for you if you don't have gut. It's funny, you know, onions are considered like a natural antibiotic. Right. Yeah. So, you know, one of the once again, it's one of those things that you can, you know, grill up on the barbie and have as a healthy side thing. Mm. Isn't barbie mm. grilled onion but just raw the best? Onion. Raw, I love it. I just I, I know, know you're talking is. raw, but yeah. But if someone's got SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, sometimes onion can be an issue, but people tend to know oh. if onion's an issue. Okay. You know, people often say, "Oh, yeah, I burp like a crazy person for an hour and a <laughs> half afterwards." So they're the ones who know that it's a problem for them, but yeah. you know, generally it's a very healthy food. Hmm, not sure about the beer chaser, but I'm sure it somehow uh, makes it healthier. <laughs> all right, I'll just have the onion. Myself, <laughs> I'm sure your wife will love that. What are you doing there? <laughs> There's also these funny little things um, that are only just starting to make a bit of. We don't even have them in the clinic. It's sort of new research that are indicating that spinach capsules mm -hmm. tend to help with um, balancing out the blood sugar. So I don't, there's, some, there's some very early research going on with that at the moment. I think it's going to be something, I might be wrong, but I think it's going to be something very similar to broccoli. No, and 
Yeah, so you know how broccoli is linked yep. in with just yep. about everything. It's anti-breast cancer, it's anti-prostate cancer, it's it's just a really good detoxifying. It help, mm. There's something in it called sulfurophane and that particular substance in broccoli. Cellophane. <laughs> yeah, cellophane. don't eat your cellophane <laughs> where your prezzies are wrapped in. Yeah, so, so basically that really helps the liver pathway. So I'm wondering whether the spinach is going to be a very similar thing. So at the moment, you know, it's just one of those things on the internet and yeah. I've been Googling it a bit because it's saying about weight loss, which of course I'm always sceptical about. Because if we eat too much and don't exercise, anything we take isn't going to make us lose weight anyway. I'm glad you said that about spinach because I love it. Yes. Onions, spinach, you got me. Broccoli, oh yes. Easy, yes. yum. Well, it is Christmas coming. Up. It is. Well, this time next uh, next week, we'll be getting inside it. And I'll say to you, have you done all your Christmas shopping? And say, no, I've got to go tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll you, poor person. Yeah. But yeah, it is Christmas, so we should have a little Christmas. We uh, should. A Christmas song, I think. I think we can do that and get away with it. Let's do it. It's... Uh,